I'm about to activate all 50 X Factor players here in Madden 22. This video is presented by the EA Game Changers as they've allowed me to capture this early footage from my home. Let's get into it. Patrick Mahomes' X Factor is Bazooka, which increases his max throwing distance when in the zone. Now to get him into the zone, you need one pass of 30 plus yards in the air. Now he's activated and he's got Tyree Kill 1-on-1, -on -one, which is a no-win situation for the defense. Bazooka, max throwing distance increased. That's an automatic touchdown. Tom Brady's X Factor is Pro Reads, which highlights the first open target and makes him immune to pressure. To get him active, he needs three consecutive completions of five plus yards. Now he's in the zone, so the first receiver is going to blink. It's Rob Gronkowski. It helps you make the easy reads, but it also makes you immune to pressure. Mike Evans is open. That's an easy touchdown. Aaron Rodgers' X Factor is Gambler, which gives him faster passes that can't be picked off by AI defenders. To get him into the zone, he needs three consecutive completions of five plus yards, which is easy to do with Devontae Adams. We've got faster throwing animations. We can't be picked off. We're gunslinging for easy touchdowns. Lamar Jackson's X factor is trust, which means he can't fumble while in the zone. Now to get him active, he needs five rushes of one plus yards, and that's pretty easy to do with the former MVP. He has 96 speed, and he can move faster than anybody else at the QB position. Now he's in the zone, which means we can get crazy. We can juke. We can take hits. We don't have to worry about sliding because he cannot fumble. We can break ankles. We can extend plays and get more yards. Russell Wilson's X factor is Blitz Radar, which highlights extra blitzers pre-play. To get him into the zone, he needs three scrambles of 10 plus yards, which is pretty easy to do. He's got speed and he's got escape artists. Now you can see he's in the zone. We see the exclamation points off the two left edge guys. We know that that side of the field is open because we know they're blitzing so we dumped it down to the tight end here again we see a blitz off the edge we know the flats open we dump it down to tyler lockett for a touchdown this is the part of the video where i quickly ask you to subscribe and turn the bell icon on if you're enjoying the content we're on the road to 400k please join us on the journey christian mccaffrey's x factor is ankle breaker which gives him increased chances to fake out defenders after a catch to get him into the zone he needs three 10 plus yard receptions which is easy to do with the best receiving back in the game just put him on a route and watch him go to work. He gets open and he catches pretty much everything. Now he's in the zone, which means after a catch, he has a higher chance to break tackles and take ankles. And he's doing that right now to the Falcons. He's going one way. The defender's looking silly, going the other way. Let's try two at the same time. Break those ankles, Christian. Dalvin Cook's X Factor is first one free. This gives him a higher chance to fake out defenders on jukes, spins, or hurdles. Now to get him into the zone, he needs three rushes of 10 plus yards. Now he's in the zone. He's ready to claim a victim and take some ankles. He's going to get a one-on-one -on -one with Jalen Johnson on the outside. He's going to break his ankles and make his hands touch the turf. We need to watch this one back in slow motion. He's going one way. The defender's going the other. Saquon Barkley's X Factor is also first one free. Just like Dalvin Cook, he has a higher fake out chance on juke spins or hurdles after three rushes of 10 plus yards. He's in the zone. He's about to make a defender eat the turf. He goes face first. We need to watch that one back. Get wrecked, Darius Slay. Ezekiel Elliott's X Factor is Freight Train, which increases his chances of breaking tackles. Now, to get him into the zone, he needs three rushes of 10 plus yards, and that's pretty easy to do with one of the best running backs in the league. Freight Train activated. That means get out the way, because if you don't, you're getting run over. Bodies are bouncing off Zeke as he goes down the sideline for a touchdown. When the Freight Train is active, you better just get out of the way, because you're not making the tackle. Derrick Henry's X Factor is also freight train. So just like Zeke, he's going to break more tackles after he gets those three 10 plus yard runs. But the thing with Derrick Henry is he pretty much just has built in freight train anyway. He's going to run over you no matter what. So now that freight train is active, you really better get out of the way because you have no chance of bringing down this man. Nick Chubb's X Factor is wrecking ball, which increases his chances of breaking tackles while using either the truck or the stiff arm. To get him into the zone, he needs three rushes of 10 plus yards now he's in the zone bodies are bouncing off of him he's gonna truck he can stiff arm whichever move he decides to go to but all i can tell you is you better get out of the way because you're not bringing down a wrecking ball 
Alvin Kamara's X Factor is Satellite, which increases his chances of winning rack and possession catches versus single coverage. To get him into the zone, he needs three 10 plus yard receptions. But I'm gonna be honest, he can win those anyway. So he's in the zone. Let's just watch him get slippery and make a fool of the Bucks defense as he goes in for an easy touchdown in the Superdome. Devontae Adams' X Factor is Double Me, which allows him to win aggressive catches versus single coverage. To get him into the zone he needs two receptions of 20 plus yards through the air and that's pretty easy to do with the 99 overall wide receiver he's in the zone he's one-on-one -on -one. you better put a second guy on that man because if not he's going up over you for an easy catch you gotta double team him deandre hopkins x factor is also double me so remember he needs two catches of 20 plus yards in the air and then he'll enter the zone where you need to put multiple players on him if you want to stop his aggressive catch He's in the zone. You better put two people on him. The Seahawks do, and it still doesn't matter. We know how he gets down in real life. We saw the Hail Mary. You might need more than two people on a guy like D Hop. Mike Evans' X Factor is also double me. So remember, just like the other two guys, he needs two catches of 20 plus yards in the air. And once that happens, he'll enter the zone. Right now, he's cooking Marcus Williams on a corner route for a touchdown. And guess what time it is? He's activated. So is Brady. You better put two bodies on him. Brady gets hit while he throws, but it doesn't matter. Mike comes back to the ball, boxes out, and double me claims another victim. Let's see if we can finish it off. He's still one-on-one. -on -one. They haven't learned his lesson. Touchdown, Mike Evans. Julio Jones' X Factor is also double me. So just like everybody else, you know the drill. He needs those two catches of 20 plus yards in the air. And it's easy to rack those up with a guy like Julio Jones as you see him out there going crazy. Guess what time it is? Double me, active. The Jags do not get the safety over in time. And Julio Jones makes one of the best catches you'll ever see. One of the greatest of all time. Stephon Diggs' X Factor is rack em up, which allows him to win rack catches versus single coverage. To get him into the zone, he needs three catches of 20 plus yards in the air. Now with Josh Allen as his quarterback, it's not going to take very long to rack up those catches. Now he's active. He's in the zone. You better put a safety over the top if you leave him one-on-one -on -one, he's gonna rack him up for an easy touchdown Tyreek Hill's X Factor is also rack him up. So remember, he'll win the one on one rack catches after getting three plus receptions of 20 plus yards in the air. But you know the thing about Tyreek Hill and Patrick Mahomes together is that they're going to probably win the one on ones anyway. But if he's in the zone, you better put a safety over the top or else you literally have no chance. Look at how he burns the defender one on one. You can kiss it goodbye. You're giving up six every time. Michael Thomas's X Factor is max security, which gives him a high success rate on possession catches. Now to get him into the zone, what you need to do is complete four consecutive receptions to him, which is not very hard to do with the single season all-time reception leader. Just make sure he's in open space and deliver him easy passes. Now he's in the zone, which means even if the coverage is tight, he's gonna come down with those possession catches. He's got max security. Keenan Allen also has max security. So once again, just like Michael Thomas, you need to get him the ball four consecutive times in a row without a drop, and then he's gonna win those possession catches no matter the coverage he can be in tight coverage all day he can get hit he's coming down with the reception every time Amari Cooper also has max security so once again you just need to feed him the ball four times in a row without a drop once you do that he'll be active and at that point you can really make some crazy catches with him it does not matter if the coverage is tight he's going all the way to the pylon it's gonna be a tough one he's gonna take a hit but he's gonna hold on Travis Kelsey's X Factor is Double Me, which allows him to win the aggressive catches versus single coverage. To get him into the zone, he needs two receptions of 20 plus yards in the air. Now he's active. You better put two bodies on him because if you don't, he's going up for the easy aggressive catch. The best tight end in the game, 99 overall with the best ability. George Kittle's X Factor is yak -em up which increases his chance to break the first tackle after a catch. To get him into the zone, he needs three 
20 plus yard receptions, which isn't too hard to do with one of the best tight ends. He's in the zone, which means you better put extra defenders around him because he's breaking through the first tackle, trucking through the second guy, and almost throwing off the third. Darren Waller's X Factor is also yak him up, which gives him a chance to break tackles after a catch. Again, he's going to need three catches of 20 plus yards. He's a first time X Factor and much deserving, and this is why he's going to make catches. He's breaking one tackle, he's trucking through another. He's getting into the end zone for a touchdown. One of the best tight ends in all of football. Miles Garrett's X Factor is unstoppable force, which gives him quicker block shedding while pass rushing. To get him into the zone, he needs just two sacks, and that's not too difficult to do with the 98 overall top edge rusher in Madden 22. Now he's in the zone, he's block shedding quick, he's on Ben's neck, he forces a fumble and gets the ball back for the defense. Khalil Max X Factor is also unstoppable force, so again, he's going to get quicker block shedding while pass rushing, but first, he needs two sacks and he's fighting through blocks to get there. Now he's in the zone. Look how quick he shakes off the blocker and gets to the QB, throwing him into the dirt. Watch it back in slow-mo. Kirk Cousins never stood a chance. He got hit 10 yards deep in the backfield. Von Miller's X Factor is Fear Monger, which gives him a chance to pressure the QB while engaged with the blocker. He just needs two sacks to get into the zone. But you know what? He's so good that he doesn't need to do it while being blocked. He's just going to shed the blocker off and get to the QB in record time. Nick Bosa's X Factor is Relentless, which means his pass rush moves do not cost him any points. Pass rushers have a certain amount of pass rush points for each play, which is the amount of moves they can attempt on each rush. If you get one sack or tackle for loss, he gets in the zone and has free reign while pass rushing. He's in the zone, he's relentless, he can attempt as many moves as he needs to get to the QB, and he takes him down. JJ Watt also has relentless, so remember, when he gets in the zone, he has as many pass rush move attempts as he wants. He just needs a sack or a tackle for loss. The veteran is still one of the best in the game. He's in the zone. He's relentless, he's fighting, and he gets to the QB and puts him down. His teammate Chandler Jones's X Factor is Fearmonger, which gives him a chance to pressure the QB while engaged with the blocker. He just needs two sacks to get into the zone. He gets a strip sack already. He's on Russell Wilson's neck once again. Now he's entered the zone. JJ's in the zone too. Who's going to get to the QB first? It's the D tackle. They all come free, but Chandler Jones is right there and he scoops up the loose ball for the defense. Fletcher Cox. Cox's X Factor is also Fearmonger, so remember, he can affect the QB with pressure even while he's still engaged. He just needs to get two sacks, and he's got one already. One of the best DTs in the game, shedding through, getting to the QB. He's getting there. He's close. The inaccurate pass is forced by the pressure from the Fearmonger. Watch it again. Under pressure, inaccurate. Aaron Donald's X Factor is Blitz, which wipes out the offensive line's blocker resistance. The O-line builds up resistance to pass rushers throughout the game by understanding their tendencies, but if Aaron Donald gets two sacks, he enters the zone and he wipes it out, so it helps him and his teammates get to the QB and shed blocks easier. They have no chance when he enters the zone. Cam Jordan's X Factor is unstoppable force, which gives him quicker block shedding while pass rushing. To get him into the zone, he needs two sacks, and that's not too hard for him to do. He's in the zone. He's swiping the ball free for the defense. Get down, Matt Ryan. Joey Bosa's X Factor is also unstoppable force, so remember, he needs two sacks, and then he enters the zone where he will shed blocks quicker, but it doesn't look like he's having much trouble doing that anyway, but when he's in the zone, the QB and the O-line really stand no chance. TJ Watt's X Factor is also unstoppable force. As you can see, he's having no problem shedding blocks. He needs his two sacks. He's got one. He's got two. He's in the zone. You definitely don't have a chance now. And he's stripping the ball free for good measure. Daniil Hunter's X Factor is also unstoppable force. So you know the drill. After two sacks, he will enter the zone and he will shed blocks even easier. As you can see, he's not having much trouble shedding them now. He knocks the ball loose. The offense recovers it but it doesn't matter because now he's in the zone and he's putting Aaron Rodgers in the dirt. 
DeForest Buckner also has unstoppable force at the defensive tackle position. So once he gets two sacks, well, you can just kiss it goodbye because he's going to shed the blocks even easier than he is now, if you can believe that. You could see him shedding blocks, fighting through. He's getting to the QB and bringing him down. Chris Jones's X Factor is momentum shift, which wipes out the on-field opponent's X Factor progress. Whether they're in the zone or working towards it, Chris Jones wipes it out after two sacks. You can see that Keenan Allen is currently in the zone but watch this now that Chris Jones has entered the zone he has wiped it out and Keenan Allen is now no longer in the zone Fred Warner's X factor is zone hawk which gives him more interceptions and better reaction time and zone coverage to get him into the zone he needs two incompletions or an interception now he's in the zone look at the reaction the best coverage linebacker in the league does it again he jumps the route and he's taking it back for an easy six Levante David's X factor is run stuffer which which gives him better block shedding on run plays. To get him into the zone, he needs two tackles for loss, and he's making light work of Christian McCaffrey right now. Now he's in the zone. Watch how he throws the blocker off and takes down Christian McCaffrey. You can't run against a run stuffer. Bobby Wagner's X Factor is Avalanche, which guarantees a fumble on downhill hit sticks. To get him into the zone, he needs to land three hit stick tackles, and right now, he's giving them out to all the Cardinals players. Now Kyler Murray's running head up with him, don't know why you would do that don't ever go near an avalanche because you're guaranteed to fumble the ball every single time Tredavious White's X factor is shut down which gives him tighter coverage and more interceptions on contested catches to get him into the zone he needs to force two incompletions or get an interception he's in the zone he's out there lurking contested catch or not he's taking the pick back all the way for six points Jair Alexander also has shut down which gives him tighter coverage and and more contested catch interceptions do not try him one-on-one -on -one. he's in the zone even Justin Jefferson on a comeback route cannot beat Jair Alexander he reads it like a book times it better and dives for the interception Stefan Gilmore also has shut down so remember he gets tighter coverage and those better interceptions on contested catches he's got an interception you don't want to try him one-on-one -on -one. it's not as good as it looks he's reading it like a book he's jumping the route in the flat and walking in for a touchdown Xavier and Howard's X factor is zone hawk which gives him more interceptions and better reaction time in zone coverage to get him in the zone he needs to force two incompletions or get an interception he's already got two he leads the league for a reason he's walking in for a touchdown Jalen Ramsey's X factor is bottleneck which allows him to dominantly win man press attempts to get him into the zone he needs to force two incompletions or get an interception he's the best in the league he's 99 overall he's pressing DK Metcalf he can't get free and he's back there to make a deflection and help his teammate get the interception on the play watch how he presses DK Metcalf one of the most physical and fastest receivers in the game he never stood a chance Tyron Matthews X factor is reinforcement which gives him a higher chance to defeat run blocks and disrupt catches to get him into the zone he needs two tackles for loss or two incompletions or an interception the honey badger is everywhere please do not throw near him especially when he's in the zone because he's gonna jump the pass and he's gonna likely take it all the way back for six Derwin James also has reinforcement so remember he can disrupt catches and defeat run blocks he needs two incompletions an interception or two tackles for loss and right now it's a no fly zone you can't go anywhere near him he's in the zone do not try running near him. He's shedding blocks. He's putting your running back into the turf. Devin McCourty's X Factor is Zone Hawk, which gives him more interceptions and better reaction time and zone coverage. To get him into the zone, he needs two incompletions or an interception. He's doing it all. He's everywhere. You do not want to throw near him. Look at the reaction time. The Zone Hawk grabs another one out of the sky. Jamal Adams' X Factor is Avalanche, which guarantees a fumble on downhill hit sticks. To get him into the zone, he needs to land three hit stick tackles. Don't run near the Avalanche because this is what's going to happen. Ball on the ground, scoop and score all the way to the house jamal adams i hope you enjoyed this video and found it entertaining if you did sub up hit the notification bell for more bangers like this we're on the road to 400k and i would love for you to be a part of the journey